Achillea mellifolium, commonly known as yarrow, gyro, or common yarrow is a flowering plant in the family Astraceae. It is native to temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere in Asia, Europe, and North America. It has been introduced as a feed for livestock in places like New Zealand and Australia, where it is a common herb of both wet and dry areas, such as roadsides, meadows, fields and coastal places. In New Mexico and southern Colorado, it is called plumadillo, Spanish for little feather, from its leaf shape and texture. In antiquity, yarrow was known as herbal militaris, for its use in staunching the flow of blood from wounds. Other common names for this species include gordaldo, nosebleed plant, old man's pepper, devil's nettle, sanguinary, milfoil, soldier's woundwort, thousand leaf, and thousand seal. Achillea mellifolium is an erect, herbaceous, perennial plant that produces one to several stems 0.2 to 1 meter 0.66 to 3.28 feet in height, and has a spreading rhizominous growth form. Leaves are evenly distributed along the stem, with the leaves near the middle and bottom of the stem being the largest. The leaves have varying degrees of hairiness pubescence. The leaves are 5 to 20 centimeters, 2.0 to 7.9 in long, bipinnate or tripinnate, almost feathery, and arranged spirally on the stems. The leaves are colleen, and more are less clasping. The inflorescence has 4 to 9 filaries and contains ray and disc flowers which are white to pink. The generally 3 to 8 ray flowers are ovate to round. Disc flowers range from 15 to 40. The inflorescence is produced in a flat-topped capitulum cluster and the inflorescences are visited by many insects, featuring a generalized pollination system. The small akeen-like fruits are called cypsula. The plant has a strong, sweet scent, similar to that of chrysanthemums. Birds Several cavity-nesting birds, including the common starling, use yarrow to line their nests. Experiments conducted on the tree swallow, which does not use yarrow, suggest that adding yarrow to nests inhibits the growth of parasites. Insects Achillea mellifolium is a food source for many species of insects. Moth The larva of the moth Spoculatrix clavinae, B. cristatella, B. fatigatella, B. humiliella, B. latviaella, C. nephasia abersana, Cochylomorpha longana, Coleophora argentula, C. corellica, C. detella, C. expressella, C. follicularis, C. gardasinella, C. millifolii, C. partitella, C. tarmesia, C. quadrostromanella, C. succursella, C. vibrosigerella, Depressaria olearilla, D. silesiaca, Dichroramphia alpinana, Broad blotch drill, D. pedivirilla, D. vancouverana, Tanacetum root moth, Eupithecia millifoliata, Yarrow pug, E. nanata, Narrow winged pug, Gilmeria pallidactyla, Idaea pallidata, Isidiella nickerli, Loxostig manualis, Physitodes maritima, P. saxicola. Quadrostromanella, C. succursella, C. vibrosigerella, Depressaria olearilla, D. silesiaca, Dichroramphia alpinana, Broad blotch drill, D. pedivirilla, D. vancouverana, Tanacetum root moth, Pink ostola bohemiella, Sophronia sicarellis, and Latidius maragdaria, Essex emerald, feed on Achillea mellifolium in Europe. The larva of Chloroclamus chlorolucaria, Blackberry looper, Coleophora quadruplex and Sparganithoides lentiginosana, lentiginos moth feed on A. mellifolium in North America. Other species of moths with a more cosmopolitan distribution include Eth smith manana, smith menzith moth, Chloroclistus v. otta, v. pug, Coris twinora, diversana, Cochalidia rictriana. Epiblema graphana, Eupithecia succentriata, ordered pug, E. vulgata, common pug, Jordanita budensis and Thiodia citrana, lemon bell, Beetles cassida denicollis, Galeruca tanisetti, Hypocassida subferidinia and Phytoessia virgula are cosmopolitan species of beetles that feed on A. mellifolium. Chrysanthia viridissima is a European species whose adults can be found feeding on pollen and nectar. 
Trichodes ornatus ornate checkered beetle is a species found in North America whose adults can be found feeding on Amelifolium. True bugs Horistus orientalis is a species of plant bugs that feed on Amelifolium. Wasps Hedicrum rudulans is a species of cuckoo wasps whose adults can be found feeding on A. Amelifolium in Europe and North Africa. Cultivation Achillea millifolium is cultivated as an ornamental plant by many plant nurseries. It is planted in gardens and natural landscaping settings of diverse climates and styles. They include native plant, drought-tolerant, and wildlife gardens. The plant is a frequent component of butterfly gardens. The plant prefers well-drained soil in full sun, but can be grown in less ideal conditions. Propagation for propagation. Seeds require light for germination, so optimal germination occurs when planted no deeper than 1 quarter inch 6 millimeters. Seeds also require a germination temperature of 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, 64 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a relatively short life in some situations but may be prolonged by division in the spring every other year, and planting 12 to 18 in 30 to 46 centimeters apart. It can become invasive. Cultivars the species use in traditional gardens has generally been superseded by cultivars with specific, improved qualities. Some are used as drought-tolerant lawn replacements. With periodic mowing, the many different ornamental cultivars include paprika, cerise queen, red beauty, red velvet, saucy seduction, strawberry seduction, red, island pink, pink, and calistoga, white, and sonoma coast, white. Several, including Kelway E. and Lansdorfer glute, both pink, have gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. With periodic mowing, the many different ornamental cultivars include paprika, cerise queen, red beauty, red velvet, saucy seduction, strawberry seduction, red, island pink, pink. The many hybrids of this species designated Achillea ex tegati are useful garden subjects, including apple blossom, banal, hofnung, and moonshine, and calistoga, white, and sonoma coast, white. Several, including Kelway E. and Lansdorfer glute, both pink, have gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Use as its essential oil contains chemicals called proazolines. The dark blue essential oil kills the larva of the mosquito Aedes albopictus. Opopanax, also known as opobalsam, refers to a number of gum resins, including the one from Amelifolium. It is traditionally considered to have medicinal properties. Some pickup sticks are made of yarrow. Companion planting yarrow is considered an especially useful companion plant, repelling some pest insects while attracting good, predatory ones. It attracts predatory wasps, which drink the nectar and then use insect pests as food for their larvae. Similarly, it attracts ladybirds and hoverflies. Agriculture A. Millifolium can be planted to combat soil erosion due to the plant's resistance to drought. Before the arrival of monocultures of ryegrass, both grass lays and permanent pasture always contained a millifolium at a rate of about 0.3 kg per hectare. At least one of the reasons for its inclusion in grass mixtures was its deep roots, with leaves rich in minerals. Thus its inclusion helped to prevent mineral deficiencies in the ruminants to which it was fed. It was introduced into New Zealand as a drought-tolerant pasture. It is very prevalent. Food in the Middle Ages, yarrow was part of a herbal mixture known as gruet used in the flavoring of beer prior to the use of hops. The flowers and leaves are used in making some liquors and bitters. Herbal and traditional uses Amelifolium has seen historical uses in traditional medicine, often because of its astringent effects. The herb is purported to be a diaphoretic, astringent, tonic, stimulant, and mild aromatic. It contains isovaleric acid, salicylic acid, asparagine, sterols, and flavonoids. The genus name Achilles is derived from mythical Greek character, Achilles who reportedly carried it with his army to treat battle wounds.
This medicinal use is also reflected in some of the common names mentioned below, such as staunchweed and soldier's woundwort. Traditional names for amylifolium include arrowroot, batman's plaything, bloodwort, carpenter's weed, deathflower, devil's nettle, airy, field hops, gearway, hundred-leaved grass. Knight's millifoil, nighton, millifolium, milfoil, milfoil, noble yarrow, noseblade, old man's mustard, old man's pepper, sanguinary, seven years love, snake's grass, soldier, soldier's woundwort, stanchweed, thousand seal, woundwort, yarrowway, y-e-r-w. The English name yarrow comes from the Saxon, Old English, word gearway which is related to both the Dutch word GERW and the Old High German word Garawa. Yarrow and tortoise shell are considered to be lucky in Chinese tradition. In classical Greece, Homer tells of the centaur Chiron, who conveyed herbal secrets to his human pupils, and taught Achilles to use yarrow on the battlegrounds of Troy. British folklore in the Hebrides a leaf held against the eyes was believed to give second sight. Chinese divination The stalks are dried and used as a randomizing agent in I Ching divination. Native American uses yarrow and its North American varieties were traditionally used by many Native American nations across the continent. The Navajo historically considered it a life medicine and chewed the plant for toothaches and used its infusions for earaches. The Miwok in California use the plant as an analgesic and head cold remedy. Common yarrow is used by Plains indigenous peoples, such as the Pawnee, who use the stock for pain relief. The Cherokee drink a tea of common yarrow to reduce fever and aid in restful sleep. The Occidentalist variety is used medicinally by the Zuni people. The blossoms and root are chewed on the juice applied before fire walking or fire eating. A poultice of the pulverized plant is mixed with water and applied to burns. The Ojibwe people historically sprinkled a decoction of yarrow leaves on hot stones and inhaled it to treat headaches, as well as apply decoctions of the root onto skin for its stimulant effect. They also smoked its florets for ceremonial purposes, as well as placed them on coals and inhaled their smoke to break fevers. Dangers in rare cases, yarrow can cause severe allergic skin rashes, prolonged use can increase the skin's photosensitivity. This can be triggered initially when wet skin comes into contact with cut grass and yarrow together. According to the ASPCA, yarrow is toxic to dogs, cats, and horses, causing increased urination, vomiting, diarrhea and dermatitis. In a standard rodent model for reproductive toxicity, aqueous extracts of yarrow produced a significant increase in the percentage of abnormal sperm. Chemistry Shamazoline and delta catenol are chemical compounds found in a millifolium. The chromophore of azuline was discovered in yarrow and wormwood and named in 1863 by Septimus P.S.